Hello, in this mobile how-to video I'm going to show you around the hardware of Sony's Xperia M2. Let's start off with the front of the device as that's where most of your attention will be focused. We have of course the display right in the centre, obviously. The bottom is incredibly clean, not even a logo, as that is positioned at the top of the display. You can see the Sony logo there in silver text. We have a sensor just off to the left hand side. In the middle is a earphone grill speaker grill, whatever you want to call it, and to the right of that is a front facing camera. The right hand side of the device consists of a micro SD flap by getting your nail in that gap, just pulling away, you'll actually notice that there is room for a micro SD card as well as a SIM card as well. That's why you'd be like me and look for a, you know, a way of getting the back off or another tray to get your SIM card in. No, it's under the micro SD slot. slot. Below that, we have the power button, tap that to unlock as well, unlock the device. We have below that a volume up and down button. If I press up, the volume goes up, press down, the volume goes down. Obviously, that's how it works. Just go ahead and lock the display again using that button there. We also have a camera quick access button, which also uses is used as a quick shot button. So, what I first did was tap it and then nothing happened. What you've got to do, press and hold for a few seconds, camera application opens up and disturbs my video, but that's a camera quick access button. Remember to just hold on that as well. It's not a quick release one. Okay, so what about the bottom of the device? That's pretty clear as well. There is nothing there. There is actually, a, I believe, a little gap so you can put sort of like a wrist strap as well. I've not really seen many phones use wrist straps these days, but I believe it is an option according to that anyway. At the bottom is also a speaker, so that's where your audio for videos is going to come from. And on the left hand side we have pretty much nothing, just a micro USB port, which is where you'd perform dot, darting and change of sync. I was meant to say charging and data sync. Top of the device is a 3.5mm headphone jack. Pretty standard, you can use almost any headphones with a standard jack. What about the back of the device? That's just as busy. We have a camera at the top. And at the right of that is a single LED flash and a noise cancelling microphone. Below that is a Sony logo and an Xperia logo. That's about it for the hardware of the Xperia M. It's pretty slick, it's pretty minimal, but I like it.